Today I'm going to do a quick review on the basic pharmacology in the treatment of glaucoma. Now glaucoma as you might know you have an increase in the intraocular pressure which is probably what causes the mechanical damage to the optic nerve head. Now this is not the only pathogenesis there are other theories too but we'll stick to this because um, the major step in the treatment of glaucoma the current treatment is by is the reduction of intraocular pressure so reducing the intraocular pressure is the mainstay of treatment now this can be achieved by two ways one decrease the production of aqueous humor or try to increase the drainage now these are two ways in which you can reduce the intraocular pressure now reducing the production of aqueous humor there are three useful categories of drugs i use i kind of easily remember them as abc and coming to increase in the drainage we have two p's now starting off with the drugs that decrease production a stands for alpha 2 agonist b stands for beta blockers and c stands for carbonic anhydrase inhibitors now let me write some of the examples of these categories of drugs now b uh, when when we talk of alpha 2 agonist remember clonidin which is used in the treatment of hypertension you have aparaclonidin and remodulin beta blockers you have timolol and let's say metoxolol carbonic anhydrase inhibitors you can either use them systemically or you can use them locally the common one that is used systemically is astrazolamide the local one dorsolamide So these are few drugs which can reduce the production of aqueous humor thereby decreasing the intraocular pressure. Now coming to the drugs which increase drainage. The first P stands for prostaglandin unlocks. The second st the second P stands for pilocarpin. Now let me write some of the prostaglandin unlocks. The most common one is latinoprost. Of course, you have uh, you know prost and other newer prostaglandin analogs. Now, when we talk about drugs that increase drainage, you also have to know how they increase drainage. Pilocarpin increases drainage by opening up the trabecular meshwork. So this is by opening up the trabecular meshwork, whereas the prostaglandins they dilate the uveoscleral veins and uh, the uveoscleral veins are the ones which uh, you know which carry the excess aqueous humor and thereby decrease the intraocular pressure now this is important to remember so i often remember this as pilot pilocarpin trabecular meshwork whereas here i remember it as love latinoprost uveoscleral veins so that these are the drugs that increase the drainage now there is also one drug which can do both it can decrease the production as well as increase the drainage. Now that drug is dipiwefrin. Now this is a congener of epinephrine. Dipiwefrin can both decrease production as well as increase drainage. The reason why we don't use epinephrine is because epinephrine cannot cross the cornea. Dipiwefrin can. It is an ester congener of uh, prodrug of epinephrine. So this is the basic pharmacology, basic drugs that are used in the pharmacology of glaucoma. I hope this was helpful. I am Dr. Paul and I hope to make more of these videos soon. Thank you.